Dear friends, this is my tutorial 49-1. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do population analysis using NBO method. Here I'm using that Gaussian software. So this is the model system I'm going to do for uh, population analysis by NBO method. This is the water molecule. So please uh, carefully watch this tutorial. You can understand easily how to do population analysis using this uh, pop equal to NBO method. So here first what you're going to do, we have to construct the water molecule. For that what you have to do, just to open your gas view. Just close it. So here you can see this corner. This is create a new molecule group. Just click it. You will get this uh, page. So here what you have to do. So again, if, if you come down that uh, you will see carbon C6 carbon like this. Just you can click that one. You will get that uh, periodic table. So here we can select our oxygen atom here to make water molecule. So if we have clicked this oxygen. Here you can see different kind of here atom and double bond O here H2O kind of things is there. So if you click this one and it will go the te terminal. Now you can uh, left click here you will get that H2O molecule. So this is the water molecule we are going to do population analysis using that uh, NBO method. So this is the things. So we we now now we are going to save this uh, Cartesian coordinate for our calculations. So what you have to do just go to file and click save. It will come like this. So you, you, you can save your file where you want. So I will create one file here for your NBO method calculation. So just I open here. First, what you have to do? We have to do geometry optimization. First, H2O optimization folder. So now we have to mention the H2O name here and save. Our file now saved. So. So this is our uh, saved Cartesian coordinate of that water molecule. So this is the Cartesian coordinate of that water molecule. So now here we can edit our uh, output input files for geometry optimization. So after saving that just open with notepad plus plus and uh, you can see here percent is chk equal to h2o dot chk. So next what you have to do again you have to put percentage mgm equal to 6mw then what you have to do again you have to give percentage n pro c shad s h a r e d shad equal to 2 so if you are using linux version this may vary so here i am doing with the windows version only that's why I'm mentioning uh, N Pro Shad 2. So here we have to mention our basis in theory. BT LY theory. So here you have to mention our basis set. So here I'm going to use 6 31 G star basis set. After that, what you have to do? You have to put optic keyword followed by fr eq frequency keyword so calculation will turn for geometry optimization further it will run for frequency calculation so this is the important thing first you have to mention the molecule name under the memory and n flow shared then uh, you have to mention the theory and basis set and what are the tasks you are going to do so here optimization and frequency task we are going to do then you have to give one space then you have to mention title card title card means the system is h2o just you have to mention h2o name of the molecule so here this is the total charge of the system this is the spin multiplicity so this is the cartesian coordinate of uh, water molecule so just you can delete these things and give some space giving pressing enter you will get some face then you can save it so now we have prepared that water molecule input file for geometry optimization. 
so now what we are going to do we are going to run the uh, geometry optimization calculation using gaussian so open your uh, gaussian 09 so go file here you can after opening that go to file here you can uh, click open go to the corresponding input uh, path file path and just copy that one so just i pasted here it will show that h2o gjf file just select and open so it will show everything here so here n pro shared your order mentioned in that in the text file is showing here so that's all now we will have this calculation so if you want to save this file also you can save uh, go to again file here save job as underscore one so we are now saving that uh, input file then you can click run this is the run if you click uh, this one it will run the calculation and you click run it will show that uh, where you have to save your output files so that also the same folder we can save so this is the h2o optimization folder this folder only path and just you can open click it it will go to the corresponding this folder so here h2o underscore one and dot out file just you can save the calculation will run automatically so within uh, one or two minutes the calculation will complete because this is a very small molecule yes our calculation is completed you can see here normal termination of gaussian zero nine calculations so now what we are going to do we are going to do the nbo calculation population analysis calculations so for that what you have to do so this is that optimized one so we have to get that optimized cartesian coordinate in order to perform that other electronic analysis calculations so this is the very important so for that what you have to do just open your uh, gauss view so drag this output file to gauss view you will get that o2 molecule h2o molecule here so here you can see the result if you want to see the summary of this calculation click you can also get from that uh, summary section so this is the summary section you will get so this is the total in the end of the system so here also the what we mentioned that uh, uh, spin multiplicity is singlet so charge is zero so this is the basis set this is the theory we have mentioned so this is the point group c to b so if you want to see that vibrational frequency uh, you can also see that one so again, again go to the result page and vibration and you can click the start vibration start animation so it will uh, so you can see the different kind of vibration of h2o molecule so if you are getting that any negative frequency again you have to do your um, geometry optimization in order to get that uh, zero negative frequency so stop animation and you can save this cartesian coordinate for further calculation so this is actually optimized output file so we are going to save now optimized cartesian coordinate of further calculation so we are going to do nbo population analysis we can save it so our optimize Cartesian coordinate saved here. So now what we are going to do? We are going to submit that N B O calculations. So for that, what you have to do? Again, you can also you can also modify from this output file. Uh, otherwise, you can also open this one. So just I will modify from here. So here, are what I am going to mention underscore nbo so here also i'm going to mention nbo because this is the nbo calculation so here what you have to do you have to remove this one and you have to mention pop equal to nbo these things are uh, same only so it is also same so you have to remove this cartesian this is already this is the first uh, 
what we given that that Cartesian coordinate we have to replace with the optimized one in order to do the n viewer calculation so this is the optimized Cartesian coordinate just you can copy this just you can paste it here that's all we have prepared our uh, input file for n viewer calculation that means population analysis calculation so again you click this file and save as so here you can uh, rename it htv equal to nbo again you can run so it will ask that uh, where you, you have to save your file so you have to give that uh, correct pathway so this is the end viewer calculation pathway so just i will mention here so this calculation also finished within few seconds because this is a very small molecule so we can also see the result i think the calculation is finished the normal termination of gaussian 09 so this is the nbo output file So if you go down, so from here you will get your population analysis. So, so this is the summary of natural population analysis. So here you can see, so oxygen molecule has negative charge 0.93 so h atom to h atom possess the positive charge 0 0.47 0 0.47 respectively okay this is the method you can do like this for your uh, nbo calculation for your molecules thank you for watching so please like comment share and subscribe my channel thank you thank you for watching